John Community Oral Health Services helps prevent underprivileged kids throughout the Central Coast from dental disease. They offer a range of services including free screenings and fluoride protection. And in the days to come, the nonprofit is expecting IOUs and says that a promise on a piece of paper does not pay the bills. Dental hygienist and program coordinator Elizabeth Ramos is one of the many victims of the state's cost-cutting measures. The grant that had paid her salary has been eliminated. Well, my reality today is I'm out of a job, um, and more importantly, there will be more than 6,000 children which we serve this year which will not have dental treatment available to them. 50% of community oral health services is funded by the state insurance Denical. The nonprofit receives about $20,000 a month, and if it starts coming in the form of an IOU, the program may have to shut their doors after dipping into their reserved fund that would only last them months. Looking at, at the spreadsheets, I don't think that they're looking at the human condition and what ex what actually is going to result in this. And I really don't think they understand that this is going to cost all of us a lot more money in the long haul. They are currently operating on a shoestring budget and the recession brought cuts across the board along with more and more parents who just lost their jobs needing dental care for their children. One mom called me today and said she put her son on the bus and she pushed a little bubble next to us to tooth and, and um, pus came out all over. But she cannot find a doctor that will take her child because she can't afford it. As Elizabeth embarks on her search for a job, she hopes that the state can see the bigger picture instead of just focusing on dollars and cents. Because a job is a job, but you know, our, our foundation is really based upon helping others. Now, Community Oral Health is currently in limbo as they wait to hear from Denical on what they should do if they are issued IOUs. Wendy Poon, your Central Coast News.